Hi, uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to take how to take shapes out of Zara Extreme, put them into Zara 3D, and give varying shapes, two, three shapes, different extrusions, and then overlaying them. Uh, it's also a test on using 256 color mode to see if the file size can be kept down on these recordings. Okay, so let's open the blank Carol uh, blank Zara window and just make a simple shape like so I want to copy that arrange it edit copy I want to bring open up Zara 3d edit paste There you have the, um, the tr rec tr rectangle that we created in Extreme, imported into um, Zara 3D. Hit on the show icon cursor, hit the return button, and we'll just move that aside for the time being. Go back into Extreme. This time I'm going to create um, a circle. Create a circle by holding down the control key at the same time as you drag out the circle. Uh, I always use that as my setting for the circle. Other people tend to use different but that's what I use. And then if you hold the control key down that will give you a, a, a proper circle not an ellipse. Um, I'm going to copy that, edit, copy. Notice it doesn't matter when you bring it into edit and paste it into Zara, 3, uh, Zara 3D it doesn't make any difference um, what the colour was um, it just gives the default colour there and I'll hit the return button one more time and this time what should we do, should we create a triangle so we go into the um, quick shape tool excuse me a minute, I'll have to shift this across a bit if I can remember how to do it yeah, let's all do that um, move this across so you can see what I'm doing. I'll set that to three sided. Let's say that. trouble with working at this size I'm afraid. We'll just drag that out a bit, make it a bit bigger. Edit. Edit. Copy. Bring up Zara 3D. Edit. Paste. Now the first thing I want to do here on is just to differentiate the colours. So I'll just go up, up with the up carrier key, hold down the shift, go left to select the uh, rectangle, and then I'll bring up the colour options and hope that this uh, doesn't block um, colour options. And I'll make the rectangle red. Then with the right arrow, go one right arrow back, hold down the shift key, right arrow, and I'm going to make this colour yellow. Now it's going to turn yellow, I'm actually going to yeah, hold the extrusion. The current extrusion is 25, I'm going to make that extrusion 30. Apply it. Excuse me, and then I'm going to go with the right arrow down one. Hang on, just let me click on the board. Right arrow down one, and then hold down the shift key, right, and that selects the triangle. 
bring this back up again go to the color options um, let's have this green should be and we'll go to the extrusion if I'll, there's the extrusion option and I'm going to set the extrusion for this to 30 go back there now we have a red rectangle yellow circle and a green um, triangle now what I want to do is go up now, click on this window again Go up, shift, select that one, and then again, I don't know if we can see this. Actually, you're probably better off opening the um, text panel. There's a text panel, and see that this circle is selected. And I'm going to shift the baseline shift up to 100%. You can't do it on the sliders, but you can do it because um, they will just go you up, take it up to 50 but you can type in 100 that's fine go okay you can see that that's now moved up clicking on this window again I'll click down and I'll shift select the triangle open the text window the triangles are open this time it's got to go up 200 percent click okay click on that bar now you can see the three shapes are actually in there but they're actually got various different extrusions it might help if I just put the selection bar I'm going to change the extrusion on the rectangle to 10 you can see that a bit more now, I hope. Um, let's select the triangle and I'll put the extrusion. Sorry, and I'll increase the extrusion to 50. Move that out the way. Remove the cursor, show hide cursor, hide the cursor. And there you have these shapes, three shapes on top of each other, all with different extrusions, and you can do the same colours, you can do the same with the different bevels, etc. Um, hope that helped anyway. Um, it's more of a test to see how we got on with these um, 256 colours rather than a real serious one, but it thought it might as well make something useful at the same time. Um, Thank you for watching. Cheerio.